Dan Schneider. A man out of time, quite literally. The man who created our childhoods. Five, four, three, All these funny, two. zany shows and all these funny, zany clips we can all relate to thanks to Dan the man. And after all this, Dan was allegedly pressured to leave the Nickelodeon network by none other than Nickelodeon themselves. Allegedly. I don't know. I just saying, I just want to say allegedly a lot in this because I don't f I don't really know. <laughs> Who wrote the textbooks on this shit? They're very inaccurate. He created our childhoods though. iCarly, Victorious, Drake and Josh. I only watched iCarly and Drake and Josh. Victorious. How come all those people were rubbing on your foot? <laughs> See for yourself. Huh? With all these shows, Dan's bizarre obsession and the many red flags surrounding him in his life almost went unnoticed. And it isn't just him by the way. Plenty of people who work in mediums that are closely related to kids do things that are wrong, it seems like, on a more consistent basis than we'd care to admit. <sighs> the beginning. Dan the feet-loving man was born in the crazy 60s, back when people were really bad and evil. There was a lot of evil people, it seemed like, that were born in the 60s. Am I right, fellow? Millennials. I'm 96, so I was just, you know, I'm trying to relate to you guys. Sorry. Dan was a television producer, an actor, a screenwriter. He went to Harvard for one semester, which is awesome. Oh, and back to the acting thing. Kind of weird. Hey, what the name of ground beef is going on? Mr. Bailey, try this. That's your own What a promising young actor. Hopefully he doesn't grow up to like children's feet and abuse a bunch of child stars. That would be terrible if that happened, allegedly. Dan began writing, directing, and producing many shows. So many shows. And he loves feet. Lots of you guys grew up watching his shows. I know it, you have to be familiar. You have to, because I am. That means you are too. You've got to be. Tell me, make sure, are we same? Am I, is there someone else out there like me? No! The most popular of these shows being Victorious, Sam and Cat, Drake and Josh, The Amanda Show, Zoe 101, and iCarly. Probably the most famous of all those, iCarly. Yeah! He truly is a genius for writing children's television. Boom, red flag. First red flag, boom. Red flag. Second red flag, after the foot thing. First red flag, boom. And in a time where the children's entertainment and television genre hadn't had much success since old Mr. Rogers, where the f his name was. He creeped me out a lot, all right? I know a lot of people love him, but he really creeped me out a lot. I don't know why. Hey, dog, you get some ice cream? No, he's full, full. You know, everyone has lots of ways of feeling. After the dry ages, money was flowing out of every orifice of Dan Schneider because of his ability to write quality children's entertainment. He's a genius. The guy's a genius. Just money flowing out of every hole in his body. Money! 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 Nickelodeon was drooling and continuously begging for Dan to make more and continue his debaucherous lifestyle. And after all this success and after hours and hours of us re-watching old Dan Schneider era Nickelodeon content, hearing the stories of some of these child stars that studded the casts of said shows, Something fishy was happening in the background. There's a reason that this creepy mother has so many videos made about him. It's, it's very weird. And there's also a reason his name is Dan Show Me Your Feet Schneider. The reason he was doing all this was to satisfy and fill himself to the brim with satisfaction in his fetish. Feet. Oh, I, feet. I hate feet. I don't, I don't love feet. I don't like sucking on toes or anything. I don't like putting each one of them. You probably didn't notice, but at some point, even the Nickelodeon logo was literally a foot. Poetic irony or just strange coincidence? I don't know. Mind you, the logo was created in 1998, a year after Dan joined. Feet everywhere. I was even at the headquarters, dude. Whose idea was this? Dance. Beyond all this, countless moments of behind the scenes footage and unbelievably uncomfortable skits of children in inappropriate situations in light, but most people shrugged it off like myself. I was a child. My parents didn't watch Nickelodeon with me. People just didn't know what was going on. They didn't know the, the extent to the 
depravity that was on Nickelodeon. And we've documented criminal acts and a bunch of evidence to back up a ton of claims and, and, and instances. It's no surprise that a lot of child stars that we grew up with did not leave Hollywood on good terms. I do not like Hollywood. As a kid, ignorance was bliss. There's so many things that I remember watching when I was a kid and seeing them back now, I'm like, As a kid, myself especially, I thought I knew best. I was very confident as a child. And generally, you don't know best because you're just a dumb little fetus. Most kids want their parents to treat them like adults. As an example, I wanted to be able to do whatever I want. You know, have a mortgage, uh, you know, um, hedge assets, uh, you know. Uh... Well, if you felt that way as a kid, old Dan was on your side. He would throw pool parties for children, which seems insane. These pool parties are, are another indicator of that, that he would go, ah, just have the kids out. We'll watch them. Don't worry about it. I've never met anybody who doesn't have kids who wants to have kids over their house. Dan was an expert in separating kids from their parents and putting them in relatively adult scenarios and situations. Not exactly adult. I'm not insinuating anything. All right. Allegedly adult scenarios. There is a methodical separating of the children from the parents. They bring you to this place called Oakwood Apartments. The kids have their own spot. The parents have their own spot. And they separate the parents. And then they begin to treat these kids like adults. You know, give them a little booze and give them a little, you know, smoke a little pot with them. And then and, and it's... It's very methodical and this... It was really weird. They had to take their shoes off and get into bathing suits to get recognized. And they would tell these teens and preteens, you want to hang out by the pool in your bathing suit. That's how Megan Fox was found. Yeah, you know, Hillary Duff was Hillary one of the Duff, they yeah. mentioned. That you, you want to be out there like, you, know, you want to be out there hanging out in your bikinis because that's how girls are, you know, found in the industry. It... Starting with Dan seemingly treating kids like adults, it would progress and graduate into something more obscene. Disgusting and blatant sexualization of kids on TV shows with, you know, insane clips. They're wild. Here's an example of the voice lines at the end of the show, Victorious. Yes, yes, yes! And I'm no prude, all right? I love a good big old <laughs> You know what I mean? Is it my turn to squat? You do it way more gentle than my mom does it. But innocence, in my opinion, needs to be maintained for children. They can have their lives ruined later on. That's fine. Just not by Dan. Dan obviously wasn't the only suspicious individual who has done some allegedly bizarre things with kids. Brian Peck committed 11 counts of sexual assault with court documentation to back it up. Plus, he spent 16 months in prison and then was immediately hired by Disney to produce The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. High five, Hollywood. He can still work with children, but he abused them. That doesn't make any sense. The point of this is not to point my finger at Dan and say he has done these exact same things. It just shows that that industry doesn't necessarily care about the safety and health of their child stars. And all this stuff is just the beginning, by the way. Many things allegedly happened off camera at special camps, Nickelodeon camps, or in different homes that Nick provided for kids to, to live in and just continuously separate them from their parents. Get them used to living that celebrity lifestyle. You know, who the f needs parents when you're, a, when you're a hedonist at age nine? You're just tossed in front of a camera and told to act with your parents having absolutely no idea of the, the horrors that are going on behind closed doors. They were brought to the lab factory and the groundlings child actors were invited there to study and learn comedy by which they were not good at i don't i don't think they're very funny most comedy on children's tv shows is not that funny unless it's spongebob and they show one of those really close-ups the really close images of a hyper realistic drawing i like those those are funny do one of me so what would happen is that your parents would send you to sort of like this camp all these seemingly inappropriate things in camps and <laughs> gatherings and pool parties were done as a guise to get the kids recognized, give them a chance to get cast in a role. It was basic acting classes and it was an opportunity for the kids to get discovered. As an example, Megan Fox and Hilary Duff were both discovered at the pool. 
the special pool. And they were instructed to look more enticing so they would be hired for their 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 job that they, they wanted to get hired for. Like Transformers. <laughs> that was after. I'm just joking, making a joke. Behind the scenes. It's no secret that Dan's a weirdo, by the way. This is not something that I'm breaking now. There's been plenty of videos on it. And ironically, Dan himself was kind of the first exposer of himself. He had a bit of a habit to record behind the scenes footage, behind the scenes footage of him acting weird on set with child stars. Okay, well, I still have a straight and then stop the floor. Um, stop laughing at the director. Show some respect, Jeanette. Respect. No smiling. If you smile, if you, all right. Take $100 off her check. Also that, you know, seemed kind of uncomfortable to me. I don't know if you guys got that same vibe, but... Don't stare at me like that, you're scaring me. <laughs> the fans still don't know who you are. <laughs> they will. Take a look at her and then you've seen that face before. Um, What's with the boots? Why is Carly always wearing, wearing young, young kids' boots. feet? Seems inappropriate for an old man to be that <laughs> weird with children. By the way, that, that's like a 50-year-old dude with kids. Not 50. But it's an old guy with children. Dan Schneider, not only a creepy guy, also an angry tantrum throwing diva too. Rumors and a Viacom CBS investigation resulted in Dan being exposed. He was allegedly yelling and throwing tantrums as well as sending angry emails and texts to child actors outside of working hours. Mm, Victorious, I know we're outside of work hours, but I think you didn't put enough ketchup on your feet in the last episode when I made Gibby get shirtless. Also, tomorrow, could you come in for a neck and shoulder massage? I'm feeling tense after all this eating feet and sucking on toes. By the way, Dan didn't actually say that. That was me doing a comedy bit. Totally cool within working hours. <laughs> Not cool outside of working hours, Dan. Come on, bro. Don't you know that's weird? And this was also obviously after eyebrows were raised. Post him tweeting photos of the toes of his younger child actors. Seems like to me, Dan might have been a frequent flyer. Which airline, you might ask? Not Ryan. Airlines. Epstein Airlines. Bazinga. The Slap. A unique era during all this was The Slap. Imagine the most bizarre social media platform conglomeration abomination ever designed and that it was masterminded by Dan Schneider. That's The Slap. My God, it's weird. It was a website that was made so the audience could interact with the stars of these shows, talk to their friends, and it was forums. They could ask questions to the actors and things like that. It's cool, honestly, all right? It's like Cameo, but made by Dan Schneider. Ariana Grande was filmed <laughs> to record some Hi. funny bits. Okay, okay, um, I'm bored, so I want to make a video about something, but my brother started a grease fire, and... I forgot what I was gonna talk about. And they just ended up being very, very, very uncomfortable seeming. So now, just for fun, I'm gonna say three sentences that I bet not one person has ever said before in the history of mankind. Sentence number one. Oh man, my uvula got stuck between that hamster's toes. See, that could never happen because your uvula is that swingy thing in the back of your throat right here. And weird to watch them back as an adult. Like I said, as a kid, ignorance is bliss you don't realize something that is necessarily explicit. Have you ever tried to get your whole big toe in your mouth? Check this out. Because you're dumb and you're stupid and you're a little kid and you eat Rice Krispie treats. And then you grow up and you still eat a lot of them, but instead of eating one, you eat two. And then you understand and jokes and explicit things that shouldn't be around children. As a kid, you'd think, oh, what a strange and quirky character that person is playing. Mmm, I'm thirsty. Not possible. As an adult, you just realize it's sexualization of children and it's all not good. We were also children. The slap, to say the least, was really, 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 really weird. And these clips are f play play horror music behind one of them. Tell me that shit doesn't fit just right. Hey, people, people. <laughs> My name is Kat. <laughs> I just thought of something funny. <laughs> um. Oh my god. This oh moment here is really great. They're like laying on the floor playing and funny and Dan is recording. This is him vlogging right now. Dan Paul. Hey. Dan Dobrik. Hi, what's going on here? Nothing. <laughs> you didn't cut out that part. Why are you sitting on the floor of the set? Because we are. 
and they see him and they just immediately like they are cover up and it's weird and creepy and they're like all right well no more fun here comes dan here comes dan show me your feet schneider Woo! it goes from fun and games laughing and enjoying yourself to ah i should probably cover myself up a little bit dan's back i come to the conclusion that what you can say is what also this is really weird dude i mean honest to god i could go on and on yeah about all the wonderful qualities about miranda but i know time permits and i will consolidate it to just this one thing in all the years I've known Miranda, I guess nine years now, yeah. she hasn't changed. Miranda hasn't changed. Except now place. Dan's excited because she turned awesome 18. Just so weird. Why would you grab someone? I would never grab anyone like that unless it was my grandmother. I don't know why I said my grandmother. I was trying to think of somebody to say, but I, wouldn't, I just wouldn't grab anyone like that <laughs> unless it was my greatest enemy. It's a video of Dan Schneider in a hot tub, fully clothed yes. with a child, child actor, Amanda Bynes, who, someone you might not be familiar with or may, I knew her from TV shows. Be the Amanda Show. It's pretty popular. I had 46 episodes. Hello, I am Judge Trudy. Now, uh, Jason Fema, I understand you have a complaint against your parents. Sure Not that do, good, Judge to be Trudy. honest, now as an adult. <laughs> You know, didn't age that well. Amanda Bynes was funny when I was a kid. I remember her being funny. Stay close, you yapper flapper. Yapper flapper. She tried really hard to be funny and to be more than just like a quote unquote pretty face. But as she grew older, like many child stars, she got DUIs, got into some trouble, a couple of hit and runs. Uh, uh, and it makes you wonder all these interactions that these poor child stars have with people who run these shows. Why do so many of them end up going down the wrong path? when they have so much at such a young age. There's so much creepy shit, unsettling, skin crawling stuff that you can find. I mean, if you just Google Dan Schneider creepy, there's hundreds of articles, hundreds of videos, so much stuff to dive into. All this happened when people were growing up. We were growing up, the actors in the shows were growing up. And like I mentioned with Amanda Bynes, a lot of these people were negatively affected in a way that seemed to impact their life post Hollywood or post-childhood, I guess. And 10 or even 15 years on for a lot of the actors in some of these shows, many of them have alluded to abuse and evil things going on on set and off set. As an example, just specifically with Dan, because that's who we're mainly focusing on this video, he seemed to have odd relationships with all the female castmates in, in a bunch of his different shows. Jeanette McCurdy, Sam from iCarly, you probably know her. Mama, please to win. Fall America. Just love. Dude. is probably the most outspoken of all the child actors that work with Dan in terms of coming out and speaking against abuse and just various evil things. As an example, Jeanette McCurdy released on her YouTube channel a short film titled He Touched Me, which is a clip from my loosely autobiographical short about a child actress raised in a dysfunctional Mormon family. The comments pretty much all say Dan Schneider. If you search Dan Schneider, there's a lot, I mean, the top comment, this absolutely screams Dan Schneider. Yeah, we kind of get it. And then he, he... What, sweetheart? What did he do? He touched me. Where did he touch you? Show me where he touched you. I don't want to. Come on. You can do it. No, I really don't want to. Come on, Josie. On my private. He touched me. And cut. Wow. It's like you weren't even my daughter. <laughs> oh my God. This is good. It's good. Yeah. We're gonna fuck this one, Carla. We're gonna be rich. <laughs> disturbing. It's fucking disturbing as hell. Hey, Dan Schneider. I know you're watching my vine. Do you like my vine? Vine. 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 Look what you've done to me. You made that vine for Dan Schneider. And it seems kind of ironic, but it also seems like maybe a slight cry for help to be honest i don't know um bad it certainly is bad parts i mean there's a lot of um there's a lot of it happens I, I worked with an incredibly emotionally producer um like i mean even talking about it now my my face gets hot thinking of it just Ooh. because you know he'd say things like you guys want you, you guys will work at, you would work at yogurt land if you didn't work for me and he would just scream how old were you i was uh when i started the show i was 13. Not good, not good. Not good things for your 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 ex coworkers to say about you. To be honest! And also Noah Monk, you know him? Gibby? From iCarly? Wow, this is amazing! Isn't it? Totally. Hey, Gibby. 
Sup? Why'd you take off your shirt? He just always had to take his shirt off. Get out here, Gibby. My screaming little angel. Which I think was, I Don't thought that was weird when I was a kid. I was like, why is that guy's shirt always off? Is it from Burt Kreischer? But a child? Uh-uh. And now he's making some wild shit, too. It's really good. It's his, his stuff's really cool, so. Goo goo ga ga! Wah wah! If Daddy likes his milk, I do. I do like my milk. Mmm. I can't do the milk sucking mm. thing around my friends. What kind of milk sucking are you talking about, boy? I don't know if that's positive or negative. I'm not really sure. I just wanted to bring that up. I thought it was funny that he always had to take his shirt off. I don't know if Dan Schneider made him do it. I'm not sure. If he follows me on Twitter, I probably could ask him. I don't want him to get sued or me to get sued either. <laughs> Dan Schneider, though. <laughs> After all this, though, obviously, as it does, evil people seem to just get away with shit sometimes. And uh, in spite of the revelations of things happening on set, Dan was praised to the highest degree with awards, recognition, and a lot of money. He's got a net worth of 40 million doubloons, which is a lot, by the way. And he has nothing to worry about after leaving the Nickelodeon network and cashing a $7 million payoff check. After all of this is where things really get strange. He left the network, some allegations come out, some rumors, all right, some articles, some YouTube videos. And then Dan, the man with nothing to hide, deletes 14,000 tweets and also leaves a career that is on an incline and greatly successful. Seems kind of suspicious. But it does make sense that he would delete his tweets because they're <laughs> weird, brother. Here's something that I would find appropriate to tweet. Yes, that is Hassan Abi flying a plane into the Twin Towers. Here's something that Dan Schneider would find appropriate to tweet. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go for a drive? Do you want to go into a room and watch Too Cute? We have four in our DVR. I'll rub your feet. Come on, bro. What are you doing, brother? Carly tickled Sam's very unusual toes. If you have a moment, will you please name Sam's toes for us? So many things about feet, bro. Why are they things? And he also said that the feet stuff, it's totally innocent. All the feet, the feet comedy, feet comedy, it's totally innocent. It's not what you like, Dan? You don't like feet? Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? I bet you eat them. I bet you do feet mukbangs. You eat them with ketchup, because without ketchup, they'd be gross, wouldn't they, Dan? Wouldn't they? Wouldn't they, Dan? Wouldn't they? Toes, similar to fingers, but not nearly as good. Who agrees? Bro, what's your deal, man? Why the f*** <laughs> you like toes so much? Little Andiana Grande from Victoria smiles at one of our co-stars' feet. But who is, what is it? Who cares, bro? What the f*** are you talking? What are you on right now? And Reddit hates him, obviously. This person on Reddit said, I grew up in LA and was an extra on The Amanda Show a few times. Dan paid me $100 once just to tickle my feet. To make a weird story short, in between takes, Dan asked me if I was ticklish and I said no. Then he bet me $100 he could make me ticklish. I was expecting him to reach over and tickle me under my arm or something like that, but he led me to his office. I basically got paid to receive a foot massage and a lot of compliments. Well, that's fucking weird. Also, this thinly veiled thirst tweet from Sam and Cat. Sam and Cat tomorrow. Right on the bottom of your foot. Take a pic and use Sam and Cat Saturday. We'll retweet and follow until our fingers get sore. Until ah! Dan's right arm gets sore and he has to switch hands. This toe belonged to one of his stars on my shows. Who toe is this? Also, those fucking Instagram DMs, they're so creepy, dude. I hate them so much. I, we don't know if it's legit, by the way. That one cannot be confirmed, but that looks right. Looks right. That is quite funny. If so, very strange. He is complimentary, you know, but I don't fucking care. Dude's a creep. All in all, he no longer works in the industry and hopefully people come out and expose him for who he really is. The internet, the, the court of public opinion is on the side of thinking that he's a <laughs> weird, creepy freak, which is good. And I say, good riddance. Bye-bye, Dan Schneider.